He was on 32 health, Articuno. How much health was Zapdos on? Wow, I even, I even like calculated with the worst case. Like, if he had the highest health possible, he would have 190 something health. But no, he had 150. Hey guys, it's Bantana, welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we caught Articuno and Zapdos took forever. And this part, we're in Viridian City. And guess what, if you head over here, this guy's still standing in the same spot. However, the gym is now open. And if you talk to this guy, actually, he has returned! So yeah! Yo, chat, even I don't know if we're in the leader's ID. This will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. I heard that the trainers here like ground-type Pokemon. So yeah, so that's your tip. Um... You think the floor panels would kind of give it away, though? Seriously, look at this gym. Like, seriously. Also, by the way, this is the only gym that actually has an item just lying about in it. And yes, you do have to ride them. It's not like you can do anything. Yeah, I'm the Karate King, said he. So yeah. Um, that being said, we are almost at the end of the game. Seriously, there's not a lot of post-game to do in this game. But, like, the legendary birds are pretty much your best chance. Um, by the way, I'm using Bubba! I'm finally using Bubba again! Holy snap! He knows Resley. That was awesome. And that was a crit. Back over. So yeah. So the Viridian Gym, it's not too confusing. I I would like to get some of the other Pokemon a bit of screen time as well, but I don't know. Also, Bubble would kind of come in handy a lot during uh, Victory Road, because it's a cave, so there's going to be a lot of rock types. And also, come on, these guys don't follow their own guidelines. This guy has three Fighting-type Pokemon and a Ground-type Gym. And he's a Black Belt. And he's not the only one as well. Granted, I, I, I think everyone else follows it pretty well. Oh, no, someone has an Arbok and a Taurus. Somewhere. Oh my goodness, there was a crit. I would have never guessed. So yeah, so there's eight trainers before the gym leader. Aya! Unfortunately, you can't go up this way. Just kind of have to deal with it. Uh, there is actually... Uh, so yeah, so there is an item just lying there. That's a revive. And I guess, yeah, it's okay. You do have to fight a lot of trainers, though. Running out of steam? You could have been the first trainer. I could have just like walked straight in. It's like running out of steam. Oh, oh here's the cool trainer. I don't think we've seen a cool trainer male yet. Anyway, so this guy's got a sand slash. Pretty much, there's only like two new Pokemon that we haven't seen in this place. So, there's not a lot of stuff to talk about. Seriously, there were a lot of new Pokemon in Seafoam Islands. Uh, Dugtrio. We've seen Dugtrio though. Well, more so, I don't think we've seen it, but I talked about him in Diglett's Cave, so... Dugtrio is actually pretty good as a ground type. Sand Slash I would think is better. But to be honest, the problem with ground types is that there's not a lot of ground type people near the end of the game. You beat Lieutenant Surge and he's kind of the only guy who does have electric types. I mean, there's a lot of electric types throughout the game. There's a lot of, like, those scientists that keep chucking out Electrode, but the problem is that there's not really any way to... The best that because they just use Sonic Boom and self destruct. Oh no, it's the other guy who doesn't follow the rules. He's a black belt, but I couldn't see that. There's no color. Okay, so pretty much all the Pokemon from here on out are going to be level 40. You're gonna have to cope with the level 40s. Oh my gosh, Bobby, you just level up so quick. Uh, he's got him a choke. Quick, send out... Clam Clam, because actually, I would like to send out Speed Beat, but, uh... Aha! Freeze those muscles! Oh no, he chopped me. 
Actually, fighting strong against ice in later games, I think. Not in this game, though. Not in this game. You get a lot of experience from these guys as well, so... Not as much money as the, um, as the burglars. Make wonderful music! So this guy's the tamer. Wait. This guy does have a right horn. So, okay. It's level 43. And I think... No, the highest level we've seen is... 47. From a trainer. I know, I know we just fought two level 50s, but... Stop that! It was a critical hit! And Bubba gained a lot of experience, but... Point is tamer. I am in perfect harmony. Why is the tamer talking about music? Okay, so here's the revive. <laughs> Dude, those great balls were no use to me against Zapdos. So, a truly talented win with style. That's like a Team Rocket motto right there. Seriously. It's as if he were Team Rocket, but he's not Team Rocket. He is cool. But yeah. You know, right one looks really weird in this game. Also, that was five trainers. I lost my grip. Oh, if you know what he means. So anyway, you, I think you do have to fight... Oh, no you don't. You don't have to fight every trainer. And now our leader is back! Uh, I think there's two trainers off to the side, but other than that, that's pretty much it. You do have to fight five trainers, though. It's a bit. Quite a few trainers. So yeah, so anyway, if you're wondering, this gym is always closed until you beat Blaine. No. So you have seven badges, I think. I think it is. And there it's unlocked when you beat Blaine, which means technically you can skip Sabrina. And Erica for that matter. Seriously, no one likes Erica. Because Erica gives you strength, but you don't need strength, really. You'll need it for Victory Road, don't get me wrong, and you need Surf, basically, and... Yeah. Nido King! Oh, we haven't seen Nido King yet! Okay, so Nidor King is the evolution of Nidorino, uh, once you evolve into the Moonstone. Uh, you know, he's pretty good. It's just, it just takes a while to get to him, and... He's not as specialized as Weezing. If you want a better poison type, Weezing is a better option. But Nidor King is pretty good offensively. It's just that there's not a lot of great moves. He's better in the second generation, I think, when there's a few more poison type moves, but... I guess everything's better in the second generation. Anyway, Bubba's level 42. I have been purely using him, and he has been completely annihilating. And I don't think he needs any more levels, because he's gonna totally dominate everything else. Clam Clam needs the levels. See, Clam Clam can just use Surf. And Speed V, I don't know what to do about Speed V. You know what, actually? I picked up a rare candy a while ago, and I'm going to use it. On Speed V. Because... To be honest, I don't know where I can get some good usage out of Speed V in the near future. Because all this Pokemon is ground type, and I can't do anything about that. Uh, before we go out, let's head this way. <laughs> the crack of my weep! He's a tamer, and he has terrible taste. Clam clam. Ice beam. Poison type. You can't screech me, although that would be a good option. So yeah, so, as the last gym, there's definitely a lot of strongish Pokemon that they're sending out. But to be honest, it's not that bad. Gym leader, yeah, he's a bit tough. 
just because he's kind of high level. They kind of... the difficulty jumps massively at the beginning, and then there's a whole ride in the middle, and then suddenly they all jump up again. Seriously. How many level 35 Pokémon have we seen? Seriously, we were fighting so many level 30 Pokémon on the routes outside... outside uh, Cinnabar Island, and suddenly now they're all level 40. Like they're leaning in the high... the high 30s. So... Like... I think Pokemon Yellow does solve this issue a bit. It, it lowers a bit of the end game and the beginning, but it, then it raises a bit of the uh, middle. He's a black belt! He still doesn't know what a ground type is. He's brown? Dude, that's trading card game logic. Seriously, if any of you guys play the trading card game, or if you want, you can watch my Let's Play Hint Hint Nudge Nudge Wink Wink. Um, because there's only seven types in the trading card game, they have to group rock type with fighting. So all the fighting, all the rock Pokemon have fighting moves. So you can technically have a rock fighting deck, and it will work really well. The Pokemon trading card game is actually kind of hilarious. I don't really like how they keep um, outdating all your cards, seriously. New they banned the older cards, but the newer cards just completely trump the old cards, so I don't even know why they banned them. Seriously, they're not even overpowered, like... You can get starter Pokémon that deal so much damage in the card game. I haven't been following the card game for too long, though. Okay, so, we are about ready to beat the gym leader, pretty much. The question is, who is the gym leader? Well, if you watch the Pokemon Origins, uh, anime, uh, you would know who the gym leader is, because you've probably played this game already. However, I actually, I actually do like how Pokemon Origins handles this gym leader. Also, yeah, you may have seen him already. This is my hideout! I plan to resurrect Team Rocketeer! You have caught me again, so be it! This time, I'm not holding back. What's more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. He's so great that he's not even the, the, the grand champion. So anyway, so this is the last time we get to fight Giovanni. He's a bit tough. The first thing he's going to send out is his right horn. It knows Stomp, Tail Whip, Fury Attack, and Horn Attack. Not too strong, but definitely be on the watchful side, because Stomp is going to kick your butt, basically. Okay, climb, climb, you're just taking out two bosses in a row. Two, two gym leaders in a row. Uh, the next one he's gonna send out is Doug Trio. It knows Growl, Dig, Sand Attack, and Slash. Uh, Slash is gonna crit you, so... Pretty much. Yeah, because Doug Trio is actually really fast. Uh, but... Other than that, you know, Dig is pretty obvious. You can dodge that. Climb, climb, good level. Uh, the next Pokemon he's gonna send out is Nido Queen. Uh, Nido Queen knows Scratch, Tail Whip, Poison Sting, and Body Slam. Um, getting poisoned with Poison Sting is probably the worst thing to happen, but Body Slam can paralyze you as well, so. Oh, so close. Uh, clamp. God spec. Oh, come on. No! Clamp! Uh, fourth Pokemon, he's gonna send out Nidoking. King. It's level 45, it knows Tackle, Horn Attack, Poison Sting, and Thrash. Um, again, not really too much. Watch out, he's using a lot of guard specs. Ah, dang it. Always close. Horn Attack, you gotta watch out for Horn Attack. Sometimes. I've just got, I've just got real good defense, so... Of course, of course I seem to get those end of, end of thing crits. Anyway, his last Pokemon is a Rhydon. It's level 50. 
We've never seen Rhydon. Uh, Rhyhorn evolves at level 50, uh, 42, by the way. Rhydon, really good HP, attack, and defense, and he, is, he has good moves in general. He's a bit slow, his special kind of sucks, but he's a very good Pokemon, provided you can level him up to level 42. Uh, this one knows Stomp, Tail Whip, Fissure, and Horn Drill. Fissure is a one-hit KO move. He's slow, though. So, but I can't kill him in one go. How would I? Hope. I take that back. Clank Clamp, you are f 10 levels underneath him! He's one of the best Pokemon in the game, right on. Well, not one of the best, but he's one of the more blocky Pokemons in the game. Anyway, Giovanni actually kind of gives you the badge. His, um. His motive is a bit confusing. Also, he gives you TM27, which is. Ugh, scroll down too far. It's Fissure. Or I could just press it. He made it. Yeah. You never know who ran the gym before, though. So yeah. Anyway, that was that was it. That was the last gym. Which means now we can head on to Victory Road. Now, if you've caught both Mo uh, both uh, Articuno and Zapdos, you've pretty much done every other thing you can do in the game. That being said, there's still quite a few Pokemon to catch, and don't worry, when you finish the game, it doesn't completely end there. The game doesn't completely end, because you can keep on going, you can... There's one more thing at the end of the game, after you beat the league, and there is also... Um... There's also a couple of things I want to show you guys, just at the end of the game. So, stay tuned for that. That being said though, like, we're not at the end of the game. By the way, that, that guy, if you cut this tree, this guy gives you the move, the TM for the move, Dream Eater. If you're into that. Uh, I'm going to go to the Mart. Because I've got a bunch of useless Carbos and stuff that I don't need. Uh... Okay, let's see, what do I need? I'm not gonna need the Super Potion. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of the Hyper Potions. I may as well just use only full Restores from here on out. Uh, you still want Max Revives. Max Revives are always useful, because they're very expensive. You can actually sell TMs, if you're wondering. Uh, Super Repel. I keep the Repels, I'm gonna sell them at the very end, but then again, there's not really any point in doing stuff. Uh, sell the Carbos, because I'm not gonna need that with Carbos. Carbos. Uh, HP up. Regular revive, I'll get rid of that. So, item. Let's see. Uh, I'm actually gonna use the HP up on Clam Clam. So now his health was from 99, and now it's 101. It just kinda ups the stat a little bit, and more so the, the hidden stat that you can't see. But yeah, now just before I end this part, I just want us to take a nice stroll. Remember when we were here last? We went over here and we grinded a bit. I haven't grinded ever since Brock, by the way, if you're wondering. All of this has been trainer battles, like on screen, so... However, can't let old things leave us. The music's going quicker. Well, being out, what a surprise to see you here! So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, B&O, as a warm up for the Pokemon League. Come on! And you gotta fight Blue. So yeah. So, this is the last time we get to fight Blue though, so... I guess it's okay. He's got six Pokemon, oh my gosh! Uh, so the first thing he sends out is his Pidgeot. Uh, this thing knows Wing Attack, Agility, Quick Attack, and Whirlwind. Um, it's kind of strong. Send out something defensive. Wing, wing attack's not really, not really the worst move, you know. It'll do damage, but it's not going to do a bunch, you know. That's high defense. Though. Seriously, seriously, guys, don't deny Cloyce's uh, really good defense. I think he's one of the best water types for that reason, because he can just tank any, any, anything. And then most of the time, stuff with high defense, uh, stuff with high attack usually has high defense as well. So it's good special attack. Is always good. Uh, his next Pokemon is Rhyhorn. Uh, he will always have this, no matter what. 
It knows Fury Attack, Stomp, Horn Attack, and Tail Whip. I feel like this was the exact same one that Trickin' Giovanni used. Okay, now, uh, he does have Execute. This is because I chose a Grass type. If you chose, um, he hasn't evolved it though. You'd think he would have. Um, now, uh, he doesn't evolve it either time. This thing knows Leech Seed, Poison Powder, Solar Beam, and Growth. Solar Beam is a very obvious attack. It takes two turns. On the second turn, it attacks. Uh, this thing is level 47. Uh, this doesn't appear if you got Squirtle, by the way. So don't worry. Don't worry if you got Squirtle. Um, because he basically does that two Pokemon kind of thing. Now, he's also got Gyarados. This is because I, if you chose Charmander, he wouldn't have Gyarados. Uh, the Gyarados knows, um... Oh, he's not on, he's not on my, my screen, ah. He knows Dragon Rage, Hydro Pump, Bite, and Leer. And I don't know why I didn't just send out Speed V. Trying to tank the whole thing is Clam Clam, even though this is clearly an obvious choice for Speed V. You know, even though I feel like I'm underleveled, I really don't know if I am. Because I'm take- I will take out this Gyarados, eight levels higher than me, and one attack. Seriously. That is ridiculous. Um, by the way, if, uh, if you didn't choose Bulbasaur, he would have, uh, Growlithe on his team that knows Ember, Takedown, Leer, and Agility. Uh, it's level, depends on whatever you chose. Uh, he still has Alakazam. It knows Psychic, Psybeam, Reflect, and Recover. Uh, yeah, let's send out Speedy. Speedy can do this. If you can outspeed Alakazam, you're all good. It's level 50, by the way. I just want to remind you that. Uh, if you're wondering his... Um, yeah, it's level 50. That's actually pretty high level. That was a crit. And he's using Recover. This is not gonna go well. Then again, I am using special attacks. So if you use something like, um... Or, or I can paralyze him, that works too. Oh no, he's not a psychic. That being said, special defense, you know. Still, like, yeah. My special went down. Ah! Oh, that is absolutely terrible. Reflect. What is reflect? It reflects uh, special. Okay, right. Dharma. Too bad I can quick your attack. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> and I completely took it out out! As a level 39 <laughs> Jolteon! Uh, so his final Pokemon is Charizard, or it's uh, Venusaur, or it's Blastoise. Now, uh, if you chose Bulbasaur, he would have, um... You know, Snoozer needs some limelight right here. If you, ch if you chose Bulbasaur, he would have a Char Charizard that knows Flamethrower, Slash, Rage, and Leer. Slash will always crit, by the way, so... Yeah. Uh, other than that, though, it's Rage, so... I mean, I know, I know he's gonna do more damage next time. Uh, if you chose Charmander, he would have a Blastoise that knows Hydro Pump, Bite, Skull Bash, and Withdraw. And if you chose Squirtle, he would have a Venusaur that knows Vine Whip, Poison Powder, Razor Leaf, and Growth. Of course, Razor Leaf is going to crit all the time. Uh, so... Yeah... Wait, what?! Okay, okay, Snorlax is 13 levels weaker than that Charizard. I don't even know how I'm doing this! Seriously! I legit don't know how I am beating him so bad. Smell ya. Anyway. Uh, you also need a Pokemon with Surf, by the way. And a Pokemon with Strength while you're at it. Uh, you should heal up. So I guess with that, I'll meet you guys back here next time on Pokemon Blue, where we'll head into Victory Road. If I can clear our Victory Road in two parts, then yeah, that'd, that'd be awesome. Anyway, see you kids next time. Do 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 I can't sing. I just can't do it. Can't do it. I completely lost my voice on the weekend. We'll do bad singing later.